Hey everybody, Sam here. I am remaking this video because the first try there was an annoying buzz in the ear and the only annoying thing that should be on the screen is me. All right, so what we are doing is talking about the brand new Minicam beta version. It is 7.6 and it has a feature that you have been waiting for. Now I went through and I checked everything out about this 7.6 to see if there was anything different from the previous versions. Other than one major thing, everything else is pretty much the same. The background replace seems to be a little bit better, a little bit better. I'll show you it here, um, but not as good as Chroma Key and definitely still has a lag. You can see my hands though can move out a little bit further than they could before. Bite items still disappear. I'm holding a star. It's not so great. Uh, Chroma Key is clearly the better way to go. Uh, when I click on my chroma key, I don't have any sort of issues when it comes to holding things up. Uh, first off, let me show you how to get Minicam beta, okay? So if you go to the Minicam website, uh, it can just be in this little grid right here. You just click on it and you go to Minicam Beta. I'll put the website link below in the comments. Uh, and you can just download Beta. I recorded myself downloading Beta and installing it, but really nothing exciting happened. So I just didn't think it was worth your time watching. So what is the main thing? What am I psyching, you know, um, getting you excited about? Well, it is this little feature right up here that Jackie Robinson told me about and I was so excited. It's this. This is a pin to the side. Instead of minimizing Minicam always to the bottom of your screen, you can now pin it to the side. Now this is a game changer for those that have smaller monitors that were worried about there wasn't enough room. I could turn this little video on right here so I can see what Minicam would be. I could change the view to a square just to be more familiar. So I know that this is a live view. I know exactly what my students are going to see. And if I change things, you know, uh, through my gaming mouse or whatever else, it, it still changes there. When I go to the left hand side, here are all the amazing features, but in a nice way. I can quickly uh, transition right here on the side if you don't want to use your hotkeys or if you have more than 10 presets. Um, I can draw, I can um, basically see that my microphone's working. I mean, it doesn't have all the features, but it has enough. It has enough to give me my drawing tool to be able to do the presets and to be able to minimize to the side of my screen instead and, and still be able to see myself, right? Because sometimes we're like, we want to know what the kids are seeing. We want to make sure they can see us. So I can minimize to the side of the screen while seeing in a small section what the student sees. And then I can just click here and open it up when I want to use my effects and everything else. I think this is a really great start to getting people a little bit more uh, use of the real estate on their monitors. So well done, Cam with this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.